Hi there, and welcome to this video about how to register a SharePoint framework solution into the Microsoft App Source. Just to set the context, imagine that you created a SharePoint framework solution and that you want to sell it on the Microsoft Store or even provide it for free to a bunch of customers. If you want to do that, you need to register your application to make it available through the Microsoft App Source, which is the unified store of Microsoft. In order to do that, First of all, you will need to register as a partner of Microsoft in order to be able to access the Office Store. Then you will need to make a request to get access to the Office Store and you will have to do some bureaucracy, some papers, all online indeed, but you will have to create a tax profile, you will have to provide a payout profile and stuff like that. Once you are done with all the easy bureaucracy, it takes something like 24 hours, even less, you can then start registering your application in the store, you can upload the package, you can provide all of the details about your solution, and then your application will go through a validation process, a certification process. Once the application is certified and validated by Microsoft, it will become available on the marketplace starting on a release date that you will select while registering your solution. So, let me switch to the demo environment and let me show you how to do that step by step. This is the Microsoft App Source site through which you can get access to all of the application and software solutions made available by the Microsoft partners to the customers. If you want to publish your solution in the App Source, you need first of all to create a partner account following the instruction that you can find in the article associated with this video. And by creating a partner account, you will then be able to go to the account settings of your partner account and from the program section, you will be able to activate and register the Office Store program or you can double check if it is already available in your partner account in case you already have an already existing partner account. For example, right here in the registered program, I already have Office Store. If you don't have it, go to other programs and start the enrollment process. Then you will also need to go to the payout and tax profile to configure all of the bureaucracy related tasks in order to uh, being able to get paid by Microsoft if you will sell your products in the Office Store. Once you are ready with your profile, you can go to the home of the Partner Center in the dashboard of the Partner Center and through the Marketplace Offers, you can access the area through which you can publish your solution. Go to the Office Store, which will be then enabled in your Partner Account, click New Offer and select SharePoint Solution. From here, you will have to specify the name of your solution. So for example, let's say that you have an orders application that you want to sell. Check the availability of the name, which has to be unique on the store. And if it is unique and available, you can create it. Once you have created your offer, you will have to go through a set of steps that you can see right here on the left panel in order to configure your offering. So first of all, uh, you will need to specify if your product require additional purchases in the app or not. Let's say no for this scenario. And eventually, if you want to collect customer leads uh, with an external CRM system of your own, you can save uh, and proceed. Then you can go to the packages and here you can upload, uh, for example, the SPPKG file of your solution or the app files uh, for the packages that you want to publish. Then in the property sections, uh, you will have to specify some properties related to your uh, uh, product. So for example, what is the target category? Let's say that we are publishing something for, I don't know, project management and content management. Uh, you have to select the target industries, which could be healthcare and manufacturing. You should have to provide the legal and support info, including a link to the end user license agreement and stuff like that, the documentation link and so on and so forth. We can temporarily save it and proceed. Then you have to select the marketplace listing settings, meaning that from here you can add additional uh, languages to your package in order to make it available with multiple uh, languages. For example, I can make it available with the Italian language as well as with the Dutch and the Finnish one. Once I update it, I will have 
to uh, specify all of the details for all of the languages. Let's say Italian, for example. I can click on it and define all of the descriptions, icons and stuff for the Italian language. Then in the availability section, you have to specify when your app will be available on the store. Indeed, first of all, it has to be certified by Microsoft, but when it will be certified, you have the capability to specify if you have a release date that you want to configure. So that, for example, right now we are configuring this order app, but we want to make it available on the market at midnight on, I don't know, for example, uh, April uh, uh, the 30th. So, we want to release this app in more than one month from now when I'm recording this video, Safe Draft. We can associate the application with one or more client IDs registered in Azure ACS by clicking on this button and here it will provide all of the settings for an ACS registration. However, ACS is an old service and you should not rely on it for a SharePoint framework solution, so just skip it. Then we can specify additional certification information, like for example, a PDF file with instructions for the people who will certify your application. From here, you should provide all of the needed uh, screenshots and details, uh, which can become really useful to the people certifying your solution to help them speeding up the certification process. Then in the app compliance section, it is a voluntary section where you can eventually make a self-assessment of your application security. And once you are ready, you can also define aliases for your product names so that if you want to uh, pre-assign to your application some unique names just because, for example, in the future you want to rename it or you want to have additional products associated with this one and you want to reserve their name right now, from here you can do that. Once you are ready, you can go back to the product overview. From here you can see all of the uh, information that you uh, configured and by clicking on the uh, sections right here, you can dig into each of the sections. And when you are ready, you can click on review and publish. By doing the review and publish, you will go through the uh, certification process and as soon as your application will be certified, it will become available on the Office Store and as such on the App Source site as long as it is already the release date that you configured. Here you can find additional links if you want to dig more into the topic covered and like always, thank you for watching this video.